10 Jontic and Impressive Infrastructural Project in Uganda. Uganda is undergoing a Jontic infrastructural project that will boast the economic impact of the country, attract foreign investors, bring tourists and create more job opportunities to the country citizens. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Number 10. Kampala Storage Terminal Project. Uganda government has set 300 acres of land to construct a storage terminal that will contain petroleum. This project has been taken by UNOC. This company set to implement the development and operation of the terminal. The project development plan has been completed and UNOC is set to secure a development partner with funding and experience in the development and operation of petroleum terminals. Through a competitive process, UNOC will hold controlling interest in the terminal. The terminal will be a hub for all envisaged pipelines for refined products in and out through Uganda. The terminal will further enhance reserves of petroleum supply in the country. When completed will be second largest fuel storage facility in East Africa region. UNOC will undertake the development of this project in phases commencing with 138 million liters and targets to complete the project within the next two years. Number 9. Cable Car Project. Government of Uganda is undertaking a multi-million project to reduce traffic congestion in Kampala the country capital and also one of largest city in the continent. And in order to adjust this traffic Kampala KCCA decide to undertake $150 million master plan to introduce cable car transport which will be the solution to the traffic congestion in the city. Just like other countries, it's always hectic to move in the capital city. With a rapid increase in migration of people from villages to Kampala in search of employment and better services, it has caused the population in Kampala to increase. Also, the number of cars and motorcycles has greatly increased and this causes traffic on many routes in and around Kampala. Number 8. Kampala Tower. Uganda embarks on over $750 million tower in country biggest city Kampala. Kampala Tower will sit on a 15 acres of land, site that currently houses the Uganda National Museum and the headquarters of Uganda Wildlife Authority. Nearby structures, like Katante Primary School, may have to temporarily relocate while construction is going on. The tower will serve as the headquarters of the Ugandan Ministry of Tourism, Trade and Industry. In addition, the building will provide upscale rentable office and retail space in this rapidly expanding neighborhood of Uganda's capital city. This 300 meters tower will become the tallest building on the African continent, surpassing the Carlton Center in Johannesburg, South Africa. Number 7. Sorota Solar Power. $19 million solar power is said to be construct in Sorota district eastern part of Uganda. The power station has a 10 megawatt capacity. Its output is sold directly to the Uganda Electricity Transmission Company Limited for integration into the national grid. The power is evacuated via a substation near the station. It has been estimated that the energy generated could power approximately 40,000 homes located near the station, thereby minimizing transmission losses. The power station, which consists of 32,680 photovoltaic panels, is Uganda's first grid-connected solar plant. The power station sits on 33 acres of land. This project received partial funding from the European Union Infrastructure Trust Fund. Number 6. Bukasa Port. Uganda is developing an island port in northern shores of Lake Victoria, on approximately 500 acres in the neighborhood of Bukasa in Wakiso district. When fully functional, the port is expected to occupy a bigger land area. Government of Uganda are making efforts to secure more land. This project will carried out in three phases. The first phase will involve construction of the port, administration jetty, free trade zone, shunting yard, 
a two-berth multi-purpose terminal and a two-berth Roro terminal. The second phase, expected to be complete by 2030, will extend the multi-purpose terminal by additional two berths to a total key length of 540 meters which is 1,772. The third phase, to be completed by 2040, will extend the key length of the multi-purpose terminal to 960 meters. All these three phases will require the dredging Lake Victoria to be funded. Two German financial institutions agreed to lend $48 million towards the construction of this port. The Uganda government will contribute $8.5 million to this project. Number 5. Cabal International Airport. Cabal International Airport is an airport under construction in Uganda. It is part of the infrastructure under construction as Uganda prepares to develop its nascent petroleum industry. When completed, it would be Uganda's second international airport, besides Entebbe International Airport. The new airport is expected to facilitate mobilization of equipment for construction of the Uganda oil refinery and assist in the development of agriculture and tourism in Uganda's western region. This airport would be a large international airport capable of handling large passenger and cargo aircraft, sufficient to carry the equipment and staff to develop the Uganda oil refinery and the oil fields. The airport's main runway was expected to measure 3,100 meters in length and a runway length to be 3,500 meters. Number 4. Standard Gauge Railway. The Uganda Standard Gauge Railway is a planned railway system linking the country to the neighboring countries of Kenya, Rwanda, Democratic Republic of the Congo and South Sudan, as part of East African Railway Master Plan. The new Standard Gauge Railway, SGR, is intended to replace the old, inefficient meter gauge railway system. This 1,435 km railway line is intended to ease the transfer of goods between the port of Mombasa and the city of Kampala, and subsequently to Kigali in Rwanda, and to Beni in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and to Nimuel and Juba in South Sudan. Goods would travel from Mombasa along the Kenya Standard Gauge Railway to Malaba, at the border with Uganda, and transfer on to this railway system. Preliminary estimates for the entire Uganda SGR project were quoted at 45.6 trillion shillings. Number 3. MV Sugulu Ferry. A $4.3 million Sugulu Ferry is in the advanced stages of construction to serve Namayingo District by connecting the Namayingo mainland to Sugulu Island and Lalwi Island on Lake Victoria. The landing sites where the ferry will dock are being developed accordingly. This ferry will provide a safe means for the communities to travel at costs met by the government. Overall, the project will positively impact the communities through increased volumes of trade, tourism, increased access to social services especially those, which are lacking or inadequate in the islands. Number 2. New Cargo Center. The government of Uganda is in the process to upgrade and expansion of the airport. The construction, which is under the Belt and Road Initiative, started in May 2020 expected to be completed in 2024 and is now at a 76% completion level. The construction of a new passenger terminal, a new cargo complex, an upgrade of two runways and their associated taxiways, rehabilitation and overlay of three tarmacs. Number 1. Kampala Flyover. This road project is intended to decongest the city by separating through traffic from the city street traffic. This project focuses on traffic entering the city, mainly from Entebbe along the old Kampala Entebbe Road and from MPG, along the Kampala MPG Expressway. Traffic from these routes, destined to Lugogo, Nakawa and points along the Kampala Jinja Highway will find this new route faster and more user-friendly. 
reducing travel times and leading to less carbon emissions from exhaust fumes installed traffic on the city streets. Also, by removing the pass-through traffic off the city streets, the congestion will be lessened. With the construction vested on Japan International Cooperation Engine C, JICA. Don't forget sharing to us what you think about this project on the comment section. And also thanks for watching. Feel free to join on our next video.